Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. This is our Triple Chaos Dwarf campaign. We're on turn 41 as we begin this episode. Joined, as always, by Captain Shaq e. and Avi. Hello. So, Imeric took a massive blow in the last episode, losing his main army, second army, uh, the building he expanded to, and his capital, all within, like, two turns, went really, really bad for him. Shaq and I were mere steps away from two different sieges. This is our first time fighting against the Western provinces. He moved into the wrong mountain range. And we're going to kick him out with a decisive victory. That was just garrison units there. I All think right. I'll turn this into another outpost. That'll free me up to actually pass through this region and start heading back home. Yeah, now you have an easy path out. Yeah, look at that. And I can hopefully back uh, hit the rear of Shrine of the Alchemist. You see it? Shrine of the Alchemist, yes. So there was some debate on what we were going to do with these ogres to the south. I think we decided because they're also at war with the western provinces, we'll just be there, bros. We'll just My bro it out. relationship's improving. Is the same for you? Improving, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, looking to the east, we find Shaq's main army mm -hmm. basically touching Turtle Gate. You know how, like, that annoying thing kids or kids do when they'll be like, don't touch your sister, and they just hover their hand right over it, and they're like, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching anything. I feel like I'm that's... I'm not sieging you. He's sieging me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sieging you. I'm not close enough. That's exactly what it feels like. <laughs> it's a valiant defeat. No, oh, it always says that. You say that. They're really dug in. Um... But I'm down to give it a... Oh, wow. Most of mine's cavalry. It's not going to be very good in this. <laughs> do you have All both right, armies gonna, in range? I do have both armies, but the other army... Um, I'm going to siege it, and I'm hoping they're going to come out after us. That would be better. Because I don't want to fight. Yeah, because we're, 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 I have a lot of cavalry in this army. We'll continue to siege. Okay. That is their final building at the Turtle Gate. However, they do have a very small army above you, kind of scouting around, taking attrition damage. Do you see that? Yeah, they managed to escape that in the last turn, just as we started this one up. They they took off from the gate. Though, I don't think they're going to make it long. They're going to be taking a lot of attrition damage getting into that demon territory. Indeed. What are you thinking for Imerix land? Well... We have to siege the Bone Gulch. That, I hear, has a dragon nesting inside of it. Does it? Yes. As well as the Ashridge Mountains we got to deal with. For the whole province near the Fortress of Orag is under our control. Emmerich's already got a second-in-command recruiting at the Ash Ridge Mountains. Indeed. Are you going to be able to move on anything this turn? Uh, not looking like it. Yeah, it looks like I have to wait a turn. Okay, well... You can't make a play for Bitter Bay? Do you not want to go farther south? Uh, Bitter Bay would take... Two... Wait, no, I guess I could maybe hit it this turn? Or beginning of next. I'm yeah, we'll reinvesting a lot of my armaments back into my cities, just trying to get a bunch of these special units made. Have you guys paid any attention to your Tower of Czar recently? Yes. I have. It appears someone took a little bombardment seat. I have claimed the final military seat, giving us all plus two global recruitment capacity. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Yeah, I picked up the bombardment, so now I have extra artillery to bring in with us. Well, I buffed up some of my industry. Um, did we ever talk about maybe gifting some cities to me to complete the Silver Province? Silver we Pinnacle did. Province? Uh, which way? What props? Let me zoom out. Well, you know, Howling Rock and the Desolation of Drakenmoor. You know, they seem to be owned by a very handsome Chaos Dwarf that isn't me. 
I want a formal apology for kicking me out of Tsar Nagrand, and they're yours. There's no proof that I did that. <laughs> uh, that's why I want the apology. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see this deal. Except counter one go counter counter up. <laughs> Income from refinery buildings and armament output. This is my factory, right? Uh, yeah. You do have a factory here, and the I don't know what the gemstones get you as well, like the diamonds of Silver Pinnacle. It might get you something special. I can't get those yet. I have to wait until next turn. Uh, the Diamonds of Silver Pinnacle would give me income from gem and gold mines, minus materials, and 750 bonus income per turn. Nice. So I'm converting raw materials into gold. Uh, Kolek has reached out. Oh, yeah? How's he doing? Uh, he's, I think I'm just talking a lot, to be honest. I'm a slow talker. He asked us to join a war against Clan Farrick. Isn't that your allies up north? Or, like, the guys that just are doing well? I don't know if I have a thing with... I'm going to say no for now. Should I? Uh, I don't know where Clan Farrick chaos? is. That's my problem. I don't, yeah, I don't know where they are either. The guys to your, like, direct north. I, I, no, direct north is... isn't Clan Farrick. It's the guys telling him to go to war. It's the Warriors of Chaos, the Heralds of the Tempest. No, no, no. Like, direct north of him is, like, Carrick Dumb and Tribe Slaughter. It's all Skaven. Oh, yeah, is yeah, Is that yeah. that Skaven, though? It's is that Skaven them? Territory. We don't know if it's them, though, because we, we can't know. see it, but it's definitely Skaven territory. And it is directly north of you. I'll think about it. I'm so going to decline like for now. Way. I'll think about it, though. Uh, they are... Master of this immediately north of me. Of all so that is those guys. No I don't think I have any packs with them. So I, I could No, I do have a non-aggression pack. I do have one. So that would have broken my non-aggression pack. It's a good thing I didn't do that. That would have been very <laughs> bad. People need to know that my word means something. Okay. And before I forget, never mind. Oops. Sorry. That's Did totally not fine. Mean to click. I clicked things. Um how do I unclick things? Why is it making me? Oh, I have to retreat. That was goofy. What okay, I'm clicking on the silver pinnacle, and I'm going to build that gem refinery before I forget. That's going up now. Damn it. Why does it keep doing this? Sorry. No, you're fine. I already did it. Oh, you already did. Okay, it didn't stop I'm you. I'm good. I was moving them closer to reinforce, and it was like, you want to start the fight now? Like, mm, no. Oh, I just want to be close now. I'm, I'm blockading that. I shouldn't be able to start the fight with the second army, so that's a bit weird. Astrogoth is going to go into full march. He's heading downhill with Bob from accounting. Do you want to hit something further to the south, or do you want to hit the Shrine of the Alchemist? Um, I was going to hit... Oh, yeah, they've got even more territory down there now that you're here. I can see farther. Um... I think their capital is south of us, and we see one of his armies now at Zenwu. Let's go for the capital. Makes sense to knock that out before he's able to reinforce it. But he may move north, so that might change our mind. We don't know where he is. Well, that's just one of his armies. Yeah. Dew dang. Yeah. Um, well, we'll have to wait until next turn anyway to figure out where we're going to go, right? You move your maximum? Moved my maximum. We are officially in his territory. Roger. Uh, it looks like I'll be able to hit potentially either next turn. That's going to be my turn. You can't move too much. I'm just upgrading a lot of that uh, new territory that I have. All right. I got some fights to do. Oh, this is just a decisive victory. Never mind. At pig barter? At pig barter. Oh, so we're almost officially Nurgle neighbors. Actually, yeah. he's almost out of the game. 
Also, yeah, Blue Rose is moving in. I am at war with Blue Rose. I sent them a trade caravan, and their response was literally, fuck you. <laughs> and they declared war on me instantly. And Bitter Bay. Get them, orcs. Bring them bees. No, take their bees. We want their bees. We want their bees. Oh, I thought I was giving them bees. No, 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 no. We're taking bees so we can make coffee. Uh... Don't question it. I don't know how it works either. Okay. So that means that Emmerich only has two settlements left. You do have your weaker army as the advancing one. Do you think they're going to be able to muster up anything to stop you? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see what they can build at Ash Ridge Mountain. The Fortress of Vorag, I actually put a garrison in now. So it should be able to hold on its own. But we do have all the interns ready to go. I wonder what Scrap Tower's vampire army is actually. Like, what kind of army is that? Because we're at war with them. Uh, it is... Oh, you can see three it. Three Grave Guards, two Skeletons, Zombies, two Blood Knights, a Black Knight, and a Crypt Horror. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. No, oh, um, boy. I don't know about these vampires. See, but here's the thing, guys. Uh, I know you guys might have had some issues in the past with vampires, but we're the faction that's on fire. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I have good news. Yeah. Greasus is at war with both Imric and the Western provinces. So his approving of us is going through the roof right now. I'm going to send him a, sp wow. a small payment nice. to a small gift. Bump it up a little bit more. Bump it up a little bit more. As enemies. I have to raid one oh. of the Western provinces factions and I get two grand for it. Uh... I had to fight this, otherwise my blunderbusses would die, and I like my blunderbusses. That's okay. What are you fight? What's Norska? You fight Norska. It's actually the guy that Shaq killed at the beginning. Come back to try and kill me. Oh no! Mm. Oh, this is over by Kislev. I see. Don Dowie Breaker. Is he going after your trade caravan? Yes, and I don't appreciate it. it says valiant defeat. Uh oh. Oh man. Might lose uh, more than just one unit. Let's try and not do that. This boy has artillery, and it has the good artillery that we've never seen before. So. Ooh, that's the big can. Also, a uh, Hydra. Why did they think we're going to lose this exactly? Yeah. You I have a Hydra? Know. You also have a what? Blood Knight? How are we going to yeah. lose this? Oh, you've the got the train, too. Liked, yeah. The vampires liked when I traded with them, so they gave me a blood knight. <laughs> or, like, a, a grave guard, yeah. All right, it's only fair that Shaq gets the uh, artillery, because God knows I don't know what to do with this. Yes, I want the train. I built this ages ago, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet. Wow. <laughs> so if you look over at the mortar, right... Tim would be approving of this model. This guy is out with his nipples out. Like, oh, he's ready God. to go. He's ready. And he's Do we have ogres mask. on that? Ogres yeah. are the one that shoot it? Ogres are the one that reload it. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Look at the bobs underneath him. You get three shots and he's out. That's very cool. But we also do have man, e man eaters with great weapons. Oh, look at the front of it. Yeah, that's the other part of the train. I like how the more advanced the ogre unit, the more close they were. <laughs> yeah. So we got a big old Hydra. We got blunderbusses. We got cannons to protect us. I genuinely don't see how this was not a decisive victory. I'm going to call this Hydra Philip. Hey, Philip. Which one? Which head? Uh, each one is a different letter. Oh. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know where they are. The plan is to shell the crap out of them until they come to us. Shaq, can you do that? Yeah, sure. I can do that. Where do you want All to right. set up? It doesn't matter. 
Um, let's set up over here so they don't have tree cover as much. The blunderbusses can get like a better shot if you want to put them in the front of us and then we'll charge through you. And being a Hydra must be exhausting. Like I'm not a very social person, but yeah. they yeah. never get a break. You can even see like one of them like attacking the other one. Like, hey, shut up, right? <laughs> Oh, they have a breath weapon, too. I forgot. I've never played Dark Elves in this game, so I've never used Hydras. Oh, is that their version of the dragon, the Hydra? They have, like, a dark dragon, but they also have these things, yeah. Gotcha. I think they also have one with, like, swords uh, for head. I don't know. I thought... Okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm ready when you are. Wow, the train's got some range to it. Yeah. Hey, I found them. Oh, God. Yep. So to the train. So to the train. Let's look at this. It's aiming oh, for the dog. No way it's going to hit. Oh, it oh hit. my oh, God. God. What did that? The mortar? That was the train. The mortar. Yeah, that was the mortar in the back. They've almost broken. Wait a minute. Did they break? It's so close. They're still like, was that a freaking train? Uh, Nope, they don't believe it. Let's see if we're reloading. There's another shot out. I switched targets to something a little bit more um, spicy. Choo choo. Oh my god. Dogs on the it right? Has like a, it has like a blast wave afterwards, too. Intercept dogs on the right? Will do. I'm oh, aiming for giant. So is the I'm shooting at them with a train. Holy crap, the other train is cool. Is the other train like a shotgun? He's got a shotgun on the front, and then he's got something called more power, which gives him acceleration and mass, so he can run things over. We've broken right, dogs. Switching targets to the trolls. Giant. Uh, trolls are down. Going for the halberds behind oh, them. The trolls are falling away. Aiming for giant again. Watch your hydra. Should be fine. Should be a okay. Oh, not if he does that. <laughs> oh, doggos are coming back in. All right, pulling hydra. Turning the train. Opening up on halberds left side. There's the damage right now. Uh, Giant is taking shots. A lot of shots. Nice. Halberds left side are about to break. Putting fire into the trolls to get him to turn around. Trolls are broken. Switching fire. Turning to shoot Ideally. chaos spawn to the right of my middle blunderbusses. Giant is dead and aiming for leader. Pull my ogres back so I don't lose them. Moving the train forward. Do you actually enemy ant? Yeah, round out on the chaos spawn. Apologies oh, if this misses. Jesus! The dwarves! They're fine. This is fine. Uh, all right, I will switch fire to the halberds in the middle. Uh, enemy leader just charged my blunders. I got my leader charging him now. Give me a quick second. I'll, sh I'll shoot him to death. Keep him there. Keep him held there. Trolls are back. Trolls are back. What the hell, train? You shot the other train. <laughs> uh, careful of Hydra. Uh, gonna hit Chaos Trolls on the top of the hill. Oh, they broke. They there broke. it is. Oh, the Get train's the got train. more smoke. I just used the more power oh, ability. I'm going in for the charge. Whistle. Going in for the charge of the train. More power. Look at it go. It's running people over. Wait, where's the train? I don't see it. It just it's on right right hand side. It's super fast now because oh, I used I see the more it, power I see it. ability. And there goes a shotgun. And then I'll start it moving again. I it, It's still got the buff, I think. Look it's got four it seconds follow. left on it. Come on, run him over. Yes. Oh my Can't god. Me now. And then now that the buff just wore off. So it was like you put all of your steam engines on and you gain speed. Is that what happened? Yeah, the horn goes off at everything. So I'm going to do it on the back one real quick. Here we go. Back one, firing it. Look at it go. Look at that. And oh, then it turns into a battering ram. He's got 75 speed. It's still firing while moving. Oh my god. Oh, it can shoot and move? What? 
I awesome. I'm in love. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow, we really treated ourselves. Look at this guy go. Choo -choo. Is the ogre? I'm gonna shoot him. All? I don't know. I haven't been able to see it yet. We should be firing soon though. Oh, he is. Yeah, he, he does. He picks it up. Oh, and he puts it in. Chucks it in there. Okay, that's cool. And the impact of the, the weapon gives them minus 60% speed and charge speed. So is that a grinder on the front? It is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And like spears. Oh my god. That thing's amazing. I cannot wait to get one of those in the main army. Free labor. Well done. Ready. So that was the convoy, huh? That was the convoy, yeah. That's a very well equipped convoy. He's yeah, no kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel too bad about sending those guys off into the uncharted lands. Uh, I am, I think, in range of Shang Yang. Now, I might be lying to you, but I, th I think I can reach it uh, with Bob the Accountant. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me see how far I can get. So you want to go for... <sighs> I can think I can get to it, too. I think I can reinforce you. So I'll move his a little bit closer. That you want me to, good. like, siege it? Uh, I don't mind sieging it. Do you want to own this entire thing? Like, I can stick to the mountains. That's fine with me. Uh, I would, yeah. I'd like to increase my, my holdings. All right, you go siege, then. I'll follow up. Roger. Barak! Thomas the Pain Engine. <laughs> He's a great... Okay, continuing siege. I am... Why am I taking attrition damage? Because it's not Chaos Dwarf Land, I guess. What is it? Too nice? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Are we? It's a close victory. We, um, we can fight it. We can win that. There's nothing close about that. You I also have a train. I have a train. Oh, I got a flag to put down. E put it on the train. I don't even know what it does. Do you think you can fit a lot of dudes into that break? I hope so. But first, the sneaky gits have to get through. Good luck, Avi. You're running the sneaky gits in the cavalry. And we're going to take the walls on this side. How long until we have our reinforcements on the other side of the map? Uh, one minute and 13 <laughs> seconds. Up and 13. It seems okay. as though the majority of their defenses aren't even protecting the walls. They're holding the center of the city. Oh, weird. I don't see them over here. Uh, Avi, then could you open the gate for me? Then I have multiple ways to get inside. Will do. Since you'll be on the other side anyways. Yeah, they are all holding the middle. Interesting. I may, or maybe you should, Avi, go for the main cap point. If there's nothing up there, your cavalry could make it there pretty quick. True. So can the sneaky get. It's all sneaky like. Hey, we have uh, some have uh, warriors down here by me. Some hobgoblins hanging out. Oh, yeah. You got some hobgoblin cutthroats. You want to get Shay? them on the door? Can they break the door? Uh, They can try. I actually didn't realize. I you can literally back cap with these guys. If you yeah. want to send them around to the right, they could climb over the wall and then back cap this point. Oh, great idea. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Send them over now and then I'll just have them scale the wall in the back. The order has been given. Because I don't think they'll show up until they get close. Oh, and I also got a tip. The easiest way to make sure your units do what you want when going over a wall like this is to highlight, click, and drag rather than right click. If you give them a formation to get into on the other side, they'll do anything they can to make that formation. Oh, so they like freak out. I'm here. And the door should be open for us. We're heading through. All right, I'm going to kick it down. That gate was at like 100 health as well. I think you're just something was shooting it. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe. Yeah, you might be right. But the wall breaches are nice, though. There are a good number of units down in the south right now, so their army is effectively split. Uh, I'm heading up towards the walls as we speak. 
How's the siege looking on the northwest? You getting any ground? We're making our way through the gates right now. So far, no real enemy contact. The train has even made it inside. Nice. I have my cavalry breaking down this barricade. I'm sending my general to give you a hand. We'll knock that out of the way so we can get you through. Uh, looks like they do have cav on the other side of it, though, so be ready for that nonsense. And archers. I hear them screaming. Yeah, I'm going to turn the uh, the train to follow you through because it'll be funny to push that. All right. Heading towards Doors the archers. Doors be open for you. There you go. Good luck on the archers. I have an artillery strike ready with the Wrath of Czar. If we get a nice spot or you see one, let me know. Oh, they have a whole line up here. They sent some... Uh, they have uh, four, five units down to the south. I see one isolated on the right. I'm sending the cow in for it. Uh, my leader is kicking the door down as we speak. Woot. Pull out, boys. Pull out. There's too many. There are a lot of them. How about we make them less? That's true. Keep running. Fire support is on the way. Oh, I misclicked it. That's all right. We'll still get some hits. Doors down. I'm in the city. Train reinforcements have arrived. We're hitting the archers. I'm not stopping, and I've told them to go fast. Look at him. Oh. His weight is up 50%. He's still pushing through. You following with him? Yep. All right, sending in the reinforcements. My general's arrived. Uh, I have reached the gate. I'm going to send the cow in to help you. I see some archers he can jump on. I'm just kind of letting my leader melee these guys and build. He's building momentum at the moment. <laughs> Turning the train around, going back into the group. And then the orcs should be on their way up right now. I'll send one guy to go cap their main their main capture points, sending the gobos to do so. Oh, you don't have to. Don't worry, I got the other gobos doing it. They're about to get there. The sneaky gits are indeed sneaky, Shay. They are already being sneaky. Lovely. The cow's arrived to help. He's about to land on archers. Oh, yeah, there's the cow. Da, 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 da. Hey! Welcome. We got a whole herd over there. Ah. <laughs> How does it feel, AI? This is exactly what you do to us every time. Now we capture the main point. Uh, come gotta... on, train. Come on, train. He's out of speed buffs. Uh, I kind of sent my blunders immediately into melee range. They'll figure it out. I'm not that worried about it. Uh, I do have some calves heading uphill towards you. It'll be a while before they get there, though. How's the cow fight going? Uh, well, I don't know. where. Where's your general at? My oh, general's kicking down the southern gate. There you are. Another, yeah. Our cow fight's going well. We're re-engaging right now on some of the archers to keep them busy. Uh, I can take some of these southern points now, it looks like, pretty easily. Come on, train. Hit the back in. We found their commander. Their commander's a swordsman or a spearman unit back here. Uh, all of their units on the southern end are breaking. Nice. I think he gets it across and over the walls. I'm going to head for the bottom right capture point. And I'm sending my leader in to kind of uh, kill the remaining infantry here that feel good about their life choices still. I'm watching the cow fight right now. Anything you need him to take down? It seems like your reinforcements are all getting up here right now. Yeah, I'm going to break these uh, these swordsmen over here that their leaders are so that the rest of the reinforcements can actually get up here. Sir? Focus on this. They're also the commanders over here, so maybe if you get your cow on that. 
Uh, cows no, are man. actually jumping in on a couple archer units that are free casting oh, just it. south of him. He's jumping in on it right now. Yeah, yeah, keep him busy. That looks great. Sir, our battle, Thomas the tank engine, seems to have uh, fallen. Yeah, the he's tank not died? actually great. It, the, 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 the train died. Oh, it's no. It's not so great in melee combat, apparently. Oh, no. <laughs> Valuable lessons learned. Knowledge is power. You just became more powerful. Hmm. Uh, bottom right hey, has been uh, taken. I'm sending calves towards you. Roger. Uh, I'm going to send them in towards those archers that the cow's currently fighting. I'm also almost in position through. to take the bottom left capture point as well. We have managed to break through. All the orcs are in the front now. No one expects the sneaky gets to come out of the palace. But then they do. And it's a good time. I'm sending my leader up instead of the calves. Oh, your leader's kind of getting scuffed up. Yeah, he got beat up a bit. I'm helping with the archers so we can break them quick. I'm trying to stay away from those halberds. You see them? They got like a whole formation as you had warrior halberds up there. I don't want to oh, fight. You should have said something. I'll shoot something at him. Here you go. Oh, a thanks. little gift from me to you. Mm -hmm. I also have that ash storm thing that Abby was messing around with. Oh, they built walls. I'm going to have to break him down. Well, spell is away onto those halberds. I think I'm in range. There it goes. It's on the way. Appreciate it. Oh, I see it. I see it. Hey, there you hey, go. Hey, <laughs> and with that impact, there's the victory. Well done. Very good job. Now that we have taken Shangyang, well, I get two grand if we move to Taizu and I raid it. I'd really like to do that if we can... If we can move that way next, Shaq. Yeah. I'm I don't know what you're that. thinking, though. I'm following your lead here. I kind of want to wipe this group out. Um, I just need to occupy and, like, knock over a bunch of settlements to do my my short campaign victory. Um, I think it's a short one. Yeah, I need, I need 35. I've only got 11 of the Occupy Loot Razor Sack settlements. You're doing great though. You've been fighting the most entrenched stuff up there. Once you claim that wall and it's all yours, it's, every fight's gonna be so easy compared to this. <laughs> Run amok. Uh, yeah, so if you wanna knock that one over, I wanna knock over the Shrine of the Alchemist. So maybe we part ways here, unless you need me for that that hit at Tao Tzu, and then we keep an eye out for their big army if we need to come back together. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Sounds good. I can get behind that. I need to heal up for a little bit anyways after that fight. Do a little recruiting. I don't blame you. I love how uh, Kugath is protecting the Dragon Fang Monument because it makes him the most money instead of his capital. The Northern Provinces have reached out to me. They would like a peace treaty. <laughs> you know, I might be able to take that, actually. You don't need me for the northern provinces. I'm here to fight the western provinces. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> what say you? Just in case Shaq needs me, I don't want to be like, I can help you. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, a giant army pops out of nowhere. Ambush are discovered. discovered. It's okay. It's a friendly ambush, right? Why is he ambushing outside? Oh, I guess there is an enemy nearby. Yeah, it's a friendly ambush. Okay, with my ones. money I have, before I forget, Carrick Vrag now has its gem refinery. I forgot how many little bases I built in this mountain here. Every single settlement where Grimgor used to live has like fully upgraded walls <laughs> just ready for him to retaliate. They were ready. But the attack never came. So you want to split up? Yeah. We got small areas that we can go after. I don't think we, we need the big armies, but keep an eye out and see what they got left. 
Okay, I'm going to underweight to the right because getting around you is kind of difficult. And then I can attack Taizu next turn. Sounds good. I've got two more turns of recruitment, and then I'm going to go north. Picking up some new artillery. Are you guys ready? For what? It's time to stop what goes bump in the night. What does that mean? The, the vampires? Yes. We're attacking mm. the blue rose? Yes. Ooh. And this is a big army. And I want to show you, because this is decisive victory against two armies right now. I want to show you some just cathartic fire into vampires. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can get I'm on board with that. I can get I'm on board with that. See that. They're not invincible if you have fire. <laughs> I think I've told chat the story before, but uh, I do a lot of auto resolve campaigns for this game when I'm just editing like something to fidget with on the other monitor. I did a Vlad campaign. I completed my long campaign victory by turn 70. I literally walked up to every army and just auto resolved with a victory every single time with Vlad <laughs> for the entire 70 turns. You know what's crazy as well with Vlad? Even if you didn't auto resolve and he went to go fight that battle, he'd win even your, harder. Your entire army has Vanguard. Mm. In, an, in a faction that has no ranged units, you're immediately in front of the ranged units. Wow. That is true. I didn't really gain any combat knowledge from doing the campaign. I'm just going to sit everything in. I didn't know that they had been good to play with. Every <laughs> single one of them. I hate them. Do you want my blunderbusses moving anywhere? I was fidgeting with some OBS stuff. I'm not gonna lie. You go wherever you want to with those. Okay. They will Incoming kill spells. everything. Wow, this spells didn't do anything. Hmm. That is a lot of units. Are you sure about this? You seem yes. very confident. I am extremely confident. I'm gonna light the cryptors on fire. You do have some bats to your left, and there is a tower in the middle that's currently sieging you. I don't know if you want to do anything about that. First, we kill the bats. We are wrecking these trolls. Oh, God, yep. Yep, those cryptors are just getting melted with fire arrows. I'll switch to the Felix Ghosts in a second. Felix Ghost? What is that? Uh, that is... Oh, check them out. The, that is their... Long... Uh, well, they're dead. Cryptors are gone. I'm in range of the Felix Ghosts. I will be opening fire now. All right. Next. Now, now, anytime, <laughs> anytime. There it is. Well, even with just a little bit of fire, some of that is even clipping the hill. And that was good damage. All right, we don't need to fire at this. I feel like you're going to have them dead, no problem. Advancing. Holding fire to save ammunition. Going to move up with you. Your leader is losing his ward, I think? Yeah, he's got a bit of a shield. And now he goes into the sky. And now we go forward. Groups of three, boys. Groups of three. I will uh, keep the ogres nearby, Pally, just in case we need to pull off melee. Roger that. I'm just squaring up my formations and heading inside. Sounds good. Oh, I will stick behind you. Kill that tower real quick. Bring down the hammer on the green. What? This goblin leader that you have can now summon other goblins? Yes, he can. What? He Is can this ability? Goblins. He says, get the gets, and he summons a group of cutthroats anywhere you want near him. That's hilarious. That's too funny. I have two squares stacked up. Opening fire. Yep. Just gonna still save my ammunition. Don't need to fire. Feel like you've got that. Oh, 
I'm gonna totally summon the gets right in front of the knights just to bog them down if they charge. <laughs> Surprise. This is kind of therapeutic. Shooting right? vampires with fire. I I like it. They, they, that's grave guard. That's their best infantry. And look what you're doing to them. Oh, nope. Hold up there, Ogovers. He's not done yet. He's got to mow down the rest. Advancing. Okay, moving the ogres around. I'm going to move him past you and to the left. Okay, we have night movement. There's a lot of fire on that hill. What is happening over there? Fire! <laughs> Opening fire, pushing in with the remaining units. Roger, going to set up on the hillside on the right and just fire into it. Oh my god. You know what's nice about blunderbusses too? They really don't use that much ammo. Nope. They're pretty efficient. Opening up. Those guys aren't running away today. Those zombies aren't making it out of here. Next is the oh, grave guard. Really not. I do have cav that might run into me here. Ogres are ready for it. I'm gonna move them in. They're, I'm not even targeting them and they're taking so much damage from just running in front of the grave guard. Those are blood knights, tier three cavalry that are getting utterly melted. We're getting in their way right now with the ogre so they can't escape. And the archers are firing over the ravine. Okay, I almost have blunderbusses in position on the left side to help out with those melee units. I'm gonna keep the right blunders heading up towards that capture point. They're just gonna keep, keep shredding anything that comes down their way. You look like you could use some cutthroats there, Abby. Maybe I could, you know? All right, have some cutthroats. I'm the shooting the barricade fight. platform. <laughs> cutthroats! I may not they even need to shoot it. Like, oh God, there's zombies everywhere. And then now they're, oh God. Uh, demons probably don't cut the cutthroats in half. Too late. Oh, I don't have control over the cutthroats. Interesting. I summoned yeah, them and it gave them to you. <laughs> Get back over there. <laughs> My right blunders are advancing. All right. Okay, we're going around the long way to flank, and I'm going to get some archers firing your way. All right. A little bit of lag. Ew. Yeah. It's the final tool of the vampires. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, bring the latency out. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get line of sight of just these last few undead, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So I'm advancing up the right side with all blunders. All right. Roger. Uh, we're going to be holding our position here and firing over the wall, so good luck. Yeah, you you have ranged fire. You know what, this wall? Doesn't matter to us. Oh, we're too close to the wall. I got to fall back more. We've but taken down their tower on the right. Yep. Oh, they're all going to be dead before we fire the arrows. Oh, we're going to get one shot off. Oh my god, the, the ogres also charged in. Yeah, I sent them in. Let's do it. I'm going to pull back now and get ready to, if I need to, stop those grave guards. Oh, pfft. I hit him a little bit. That's all I could really do. I don't have great line of sight. All right, gonna engage so you can shoot him in the back. Arrows are on the way. I'm shooting. Oh, nice shots. Nice shots. Keep my blunders safe. I have a really small area I'm playing in. I'm gonna pull back so you can get free shots. They're about to break. All right, send them. Ogres, we're back in. Make some bone meal. Couple more shots oh. should do it. Yeah, Meanwhile, I see Abby one v oneing a tower off in the distance. <laughs> they know not what they're done. 
Okay, advancing. Call in the hammer. Oh, that hammer is huge. Nice. All right, summoning cutthroats behind him. All right, blunders moving up right side as well as left. I'm going to ping my two spots that I'm going to. Boom and boom. All right. You see the leaders in there, right? Those are all yours, Pally. In the center. They're oh, they had some there. vanguard deployed. All right, I'm aiming for the crypt. Uh, crypt ghouls in front with two units of blunders. All right. I am worried about those calves on the left, the black knights, oh, but you're on it. All right, archers have gotten their orders. I'm moving up on the left. Gonna set up. Ogre's the same. Okay, you get the Black Knights locked down. Uh, Crypt Ghouls are in range. The hill might be stopping it. Okay, I'm gonna aim for the leaders instead. Okay. It's two old men with sticks and one guy on a horse. I'll aim for the stickmen first. Uh, I'm also setting up the last two pair of blunders to hit those uh, skeleton warriors on the far west side. Okay. Leadership is in range. Leader is running towards the blunders. Open fire! Oh my god. Oh my god. Heal that, you prick. <laughs> Opening fire again. Arches He's dead, bro. Up. He's dead. He's dead, bro. Leader He's dead. dead. Yep, Aiming for secondary breaking. leadership. They're all, they're all breaking. They're like, oh, God, he's dead. The necromancer has fallen. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, yeah, that's satisfying. Well, I told you, man. There's something about it. All right. Woo! 